All right, in this lesson we're going to use something that's useful. Oh, that sounded funny. Um, I'm going to show you a, a tool that's useful. And that's, you know, a lot of time maybe on a photo site, you click on a photo and it enlarges the photo in a separate browser window. Well, that tool is integrated here. Or just clicking anywhere on a site and opening up a separate URL. And, well, I'll get into some of the details once we uh, <clears throat> open the uh, document. Let's open our Nature Enthusiast page. I'm going to minimize the body. And, I'm sorry, the properties, I mean. Now, if we select the picture, and I actually already have it set here, so I cheated, but, all right, we're going to add behavior. <coughs> Open browser window. <coughs> so this is the URL to display. So if it was an external site, you know, you'd have HTTP. <coughs> and then, you know, your site and the location of the file, or whatever you wanted it to pull up. But in this case, I just want a larger version of that image. So I'm going to choose that, and now I'm going to make it, you can choose how big you want the new browser to be when it pops up. And you notice this on websites a lot, where either it's a small window, medium window, I mean, there's all sorts of different size windows that pop up. So. Here's where you determine that. All right, and you can choose what you want included in that pop-up. A status bar, a location toolbar, menu bar, scroll bars as needed. Now, I'll show you what that might be used for in a minute. <clears throat> you can name the window. Um, lava, maybe. Let's try that. Um, but sometimes you don't want them to be able to navigate from that window somewhere else. So, let's just first experiment with this. We'll hit OK. Control S, and then F12, so we can preview it. <coughs> All right, now if I click on it, separate browser window came up. And this allows me to zoom in on the picture. But you notice I can't do anything with it. <clears throat> I can't, there's no, basically nothing I can do except zoom, close it, minimize it. But, now let's go back to those, our options here. <clears throat> and let's include all these just to see what <clears throat> show you what they do and now let's make it much bigger like <clears throat> 800 by <coughs> um, 560 and OK control S and F12, let's preview it. Ah, a much larger image. Now you see <coughs> it's included all these menus that you'd normally see on a browser. So someone could just navigate away from here, you know, go to Google or whatever. Um, go to their home page or use these tools. And most of the time, you don't want them to be able to do that. But I mean, well, at least that, that's, that's what you notice a lot. Um, all right, so let's exit out of here. Now, you didn't get to see these, um, these be utilized, the scrolling. See, if you zoomed it in, if it's such a large picture that a person is going to need these, you want to include that and make sure you check that box. In this case, it's not so large that you need to scroll around to see the whole thing. But, in any case. But, it doesn't have to be in a large picture. Um, <clears throat> this could take you to a completely separate page if that's what you wanted. Um, like, let's say, nature enthusiasts. We want to add a behavior there. 
and you want it to open a different browser, but just go to a different website or a different page on your website, um, just like a link, um, except it's not opening the same, the same page to that link. It's opening up a separate page. So it'll keep the original one open. This is why you may want to use this. It'll keep the original one open. And you also get to determine the size um, of the window. Because perhaps you just want to bring up a small little questionnaire box or something, and you don't want to cover up your whole other page that they're on. So this is where this may be advantageous for you. Um, a useful tool, a tool you see used a lot. Um, make sure you don't forget it. And I'm sure it'll be useful.